Today's home workout with your qualified trainer, Lucy Rindham Reed, is my 15 minute walking at home. Now, this is really good if you are menopausal, perimenopausal, or even postmenopausal, because what we're going to do is help to really rebalance your hormones. And while we're doing the walking, we're also going to focus on targeting through your abs, your waist, and your core. So it's a really lovely workout. I'm going to be doing it with you in real time. And as always, we're going to start with doing a quick little warm up. So if you're ready, let's get started. So let's get ready and do a quick little warm up. And we're just gonna start off with just doing these 10 of these little side steps. So this, the warm up, we're only spending about 40 seconds just to really help increase your core body temperature. And now just take your arms up and now let's just go for doing 10 of these hamstring curls. So again, this is just gonna really help to mobilize through your joints. That's good. And as I said, just warm up your body. Now reach from one side to the other. We're just doing a single punch. Now let's take it double. Reach it up. A little bend through the knees just so we're really warming up through the hips and through the knees. So well done. We are now ready to do your workout. So what I want you to do is we're going to start with doing 30 seconds marching on the spot. So just follow along. And throughout this video, I'm going to also just be posting up some really good nutrition tips for you that are really important when we're menopausal. But at the moment, just carry on marching. Keep that upper body nice and straight. On the left, that timer there, that arrow represents approximately 30 seconds. So you can always then see your next move coming up. So this one is where we're going to really work on that meno belly. We're going to really work those abs. So now give me 30 seconds. Just take the opposite elbow to knee. So what we're doing here, this is cardio abs. So we're toning, we're strengthening, we're really working through the core, but also getting that heart rate up. So this is where we're going to help to reduce that visceral fat. That's that deeper fat that we find we often gain when we're menopausal. All right, let's just keep going. And remember, we're not doing this for vanity. This is about health. And just keep going. Well done. And you can see there, we're going straight back to 30 seconds marching on the spot. So we're alternating throughout today's workout, 30 seconds of doing the walking, and then you'll have a nutritional advice as well, you can see. And then we do 30 seconds where we're doing those ab exercises to really help around that tummy. So just keep going and they're always going to vary those moves. So let's just keep going. So we'll have a look at the next one. So this one here, really lovely cardio ab move. So for this, stand with your feet slightly wider than hip width distance apart and now punch from one side to the other. That's good. And as your qualified trainer, I've been teaching for nearly 30 years, um, sort of mid 50s now nearly. And um, I can totally relate as a female being perimenopause, menopausal, so I know how important exercise is. You know, it's essential for our bone health, our joint health, our heart health, our brain health, our metabolic health, and our mental health as well. Exercise really does become your best friend. So let's now take it straight back for me to do that power march. And obviously protein is really key, we need that. Um, but I would always say, remember for your you can get protein through its natural sources. Always choose those are far better than protein supplements and powders. So just always focus on getting protein through its natural source. And then that's good. You can see the next move coming up is we're just going to do that side step. So you're going to step that foot behind now, swing those arms across. So what this one is doing here, it's really activating what we refer to as your internal and external obliques. obliques. So this is going to really help to shape that waist, give you those nice curves and really strengthen through your core. And of course, the great thing is the stronger your body is, the stronger you feel, the stronger you are, the more you can protect your body as well. It's all about investing in your future health. Keep going from side to side. So let's bring that straight back now again to that fast power march for me. So at any point here, if you wanted to, you could take this to a light little jog, or if you wanted to, you could just walk from one end of the room to the other. The whole point with this is we just keep moving. So it's cardio. So we're really working on increasing your heart health, making your heart stronger. So for your next move, we're doing these straight leg kicks. So you're gonna keep that upper body nice and straight for me. And you're just gonna kick that leg up 
and just aim to get the fingertip towards the hand. You might find you can't lift that leg up so high to start with, but the more often you do this, you'll find you increase your range of motion. You'll find that you have better hip flexibility. All right, that's good. And keeping that going, that's it. Brilliant, well done. And you can see this workout is gonna fly by. So again, we'll take it straight back to your 30 seconds. So we're alternating, doing those cardio abs to then just doing that cardiovascular exercise. And the great thing is with doing these walking moves, what we're doing is we're really actually helping with your lower body bone health here as well. Because every time we stamp that foot down, it creates a piezo a chemical reaction, which really helps build a stronger bone. So that's why it's so effective. All right, let's just keep going. And you can see there, next move coming up, where again, we're doing a side step, but we're just gonna punch the arms from side to side. So we're gonna just step laterally. And the other thing that's really important is your body moves in three different directions. We move forwards and backwards is considered one. We move sideways, which is what we're doing now. And we also move rotationally. It's really important never to neglect those muscles. So within this workout, making sure we're covering all. All right, that's good. Just control those arms, punch them from side to side. Keeping that nice and controlled. All right, that's good. And just march out. So let's just keep those feet going, keeping working on that cardiovascular health. That's good. And remember, this stage of our life is for you, I don't know about, um, for me rather, it's a time where actually I've embraced it and I feel more confident we know who we are as women. Um, and as said, it's a time that we can still enjoy life. We can always still be the best version of ourselves. So let's get ready. Next move coming up. This time now, we're just gonna drive that knee up, add the arms. So on here, just focus on keeping that upper body nice and straight for me. Really engage your core, keep nice and tall. And again, these are way more effective than doing planks or crunches. It's far better um, to be standing up and doing these exercises. One, they're also then gonna help with balance, but they're also gonna help to strip that excess belly fat. We're never gonna do that by doing the plank or sit up. So that's why standing abs are always best. Bring it back to that power march for me now just keep moving and remember the second time you come back here to do this because I reckon recommend that you do this workout regularly you don't have to have me coaching you you know put on some really upbeat motivating music just keep going so remember we're just going to keep marching so next move here, what we're going to do, we're going to step it a little bit wider. So now what we're going to do is we're really going to include working through your waist. So step that leg wider. So you're going to start in that wide stance and reach it over. And you'll really feel this working through those core muscles. You'll really feel that working through the waist. That's good. And again, upper body stays straight. And really focus, have that muscle and mind connection really engage think about what you're doing here you're making your core stronger we're working your heart still here as well because we're working so many different muscle groups right let's bring it straight back now to that power march for me keep marching and again you've got all those nutritional tips on the side there because nutrition plays a huge part you know about feeding our body nourishing our body as well Keep moving, that's good. So if you want to, you can be walking from one end of the room to the other. So next move, this one here, we're just gonna pretend we're on a paddle board and we're going really fast. We're gonna do a really lovely core exercise here. So just draw those arms in, just as if you're rowing from one side to the other. Step that foot back. And you can see here what this is doing is gonna increase your metabolic health. And the great thing is with this workout, it will keep it raised and at an elevated rate for hours afterwards. And this is where when we move our body, it has such a positive knock-on effect. Plus, it's also gonna to help to elevate your energy levels as well. All right, that's good. And keeping that going. So we're well over halfway on this workout today. So again, just keep moving. You know, and with the nutritional advice, just look at these foods that I'm suggesting and berries, just think how easy they are. You can have them on your cereal, you can snack on them, you can even put them in salads. You know, they're nice in the evening to have with fruit and yogurt. All right, that's good. And just keep going. 
So next move coming up, we're gonna do double knee drives on here. So let's take it to double knee, two, and now take it to the other one. Again, still focus on keeping the upper body strong, keep it straight, drive that knee up. You're doing really well. Just keep thinking of those benefits. You're getting fitter, you are getting stronger. That's good, keeping that going. Well done, nice control, that's good. Drive that knee up. Keeping that upper body straight. And let's just take that now straight back for me, back to that power march, keeping that going. And then we've got a princess joining us. I think this is possibly the best nutritional tip of all. Let's just remember how good dark chocolate, in moderation, of course, um, and the higher the cocoa, the better. So with this one, you know, and it really helps to boost our mood we all know that anyway but it's very high in antioxidants so let's just have a look at your next move coming up this one we're going to do a side step for two and then a power punch so travel it across and of course now what we're doing is we're doing that lateral move so you're working that body laterally and really put some power in those punches let's just keep going we're getting fitter we're getting stronger that's good keep that nice and focused put power behind behind each punch on that one and really feel that you know really feel that working through those abdominals last little bit okay and let's just bring that back again now back to that power march on there and I have got so many different blogs I'll leave a link at the end on menopause perimenopause and something that I have got which is really fun is this audio product so if you wanted to take a walk outdoors it's a 16 minute coaching workout where we do interval training so you could do it on a treadmill you could do it in an outdoor space I'll leave the details down below so next move coming up this one we're going to really work through your waist so just reach it from one side center to the opposite side center and really make sure you work through that fullest range of motion. Take that hand all the way down. And this one here, again now, we're working into the waist. We're really shaping through. And that's where these exercises are gonna be really lovely for sculpting and toning, more so than the plank. So it's all about adding direction to these exercises. Okay, that's good. And let's just bring it straight back now to that fast power march for me. So you can see we haven't got long left on this workout. And again, as we know, water is key for good health, really important through the menopause. Always keep yourself fully hydrated. That's good. So again, if you want to at any point, you might think even for the last 10 seconds, you bring it to a little bit of a light jog. Let's just keep moving. So the next exercise here, which we're gonna do, which is gonna really help through those abs, stand in a split stance and just draw that knee up, draw the arms in, so as if you're about to sprint, just same leg, draw it up and keep those core muscles pulled in really tight for me now, or even tighter still, feel that working, feel your core getting stronger. That's good, we're gonna keep going all the way to the arrow reaches the top, doing really well. Draw that in. And the great thing is with this, it also really help helping to strengthen through your legs, you're working your arms, you know, these are full body moves. So let's just march out on the spot. Again, just keep moving. That's good. Keep that focused. Last little bit today. So we've nearly finished today's workout. And remember why you are here training with me as your qualified trainer. I'm here to get you the best results. So we're gonna do the same exercise this time, do it on the opposite leg. So again, this is a really powerful, effective ab exercise. So let's now take that to the other leg. Arms up, now drive that up. And just keep going, draw that knee up and really strengthen through those abs. Just keep focusing on what you're doing. That's good. Keeping that nice and strong. That's it. Keeping that focused. And do let me know in the comments down below, you know, if you are menopausal, how these workouts have helped, because I've got lots of different menopausal workouts. I'll leave um, a playlist here as well. So you might want to do the 15 minute walking workout, and then you can go to the seven minute metabolic boosting workout. So let's just keep going, keep moving. And just keep thinking of all the benefits you're getting from doing this workout. 
all right that's good and do come and find me on social media i'm on all instagram tiktok facebook so let's have a look at your next move coming up this one we're going to be doing four power punches and then doing four twists so take that into a wide stance for me four power punches and then give me four of those twists so we're really working through the waist again four power punches that's good and just really feel how we're working through your core we're strengthening it doing really well keep those knees slightly bent for me that's good keeping power through those punches as well just feel that so that's really cardio as well and then you can just see we're going straight back to that walk once we've done those 30 seconds so bring it back now to that power march for me so as we're nearly finished today if you want to you could take that to a jog or just march it really fast feel really proud what you've done just 15 minutes this is so easy to do at home with your qualified trainer i'm here to get you the best results you don't need any equipment you could even do this let's be honest in your pajamas so let's just keep going last move coming up we're going to have your arms crossed over your chest and we're going to do these knee lifts so cross your arms now lift that knee up keep that upper body straight and really use your core here so your core is helping keep that upper body nice and stable and also if you want to make this a bit harder take that stance a little bit wider so we're really then engaging through those deeper core muscles working the internal and external obliques that's good last little bit let's just keep going all the way to the end on there to the arrow reaches at the top so what i'd like you to do for me now is just slowly let's start to bring that heart rate back down just march on the spot just slowly reducing that pace on there so well done there is your high five now if you want to do any more body weight toning exercises then i've got a playlist here you can pick the area you want to focus on or if you are finished for day it's really important do a full cool down stretch and you can click over here or find it in the description down below so do do that and really well done and remember what you and i have done is we've just invested in your future health and i'll see you back on my youtube channel tomorrow